Okay, we're here today. Today is the 12th of July, 2016. We just opened the 25-year time capsule for the city of Marietta. We have with us today Jerry Allen, uh, first mayor of Marietta and the fourth fire chief, and Joe Perry, the vice mayor of Marietta, up on a corporation, and uh, retired fire captain from Marietta Fire Department. So we'll start with Jerry. Um, what's your thoughts and what do you remember about uh, the turbulent times leading up to cityhood? <laughs> Uh, it was basically the competition with Temecula trying to beat them, and, uh, but then it was always the financial issues, even before with cityhood raising funds. You know, if we recall, the fire department had uh, participated in the fundraisers, uh, it would do protection, uh, you know, pulling people off and the like, down on the ranch, uh, down off Adams. Yeah. And uh, so it was, those were the, the memorable things, was how tough t times were financially and trying to put it all together. And Joe, your yeah. thoughts? Well, not much, I'd say more than that. Uh, <clears throat> it, was, it was a lot of work. We uh, talked to a lot of people, tried to do quite a few things to get things going and just took a little time. Right. Just, and like I said, Jerry, Marietta Incorporated was a marginal city because we yes. incorporated to uh, keep from becoming part of Temecula. Right. And so, uh, and it, you know, the reason, you know, it, I was involved so heavily and was coerced into running for council. <laughs> uh, if you check the Pat Merklin article, it'll say I, one, one term, that was all I was doing, was that the fire department, because of the impact mitigation fees, because we did fire plan checking for uh, hydrant flows and, and access, we had all the plans coming in, both residential and commercial. So I had a database put together uh, tracking that so we'd make sure to get all of our money, doing all of our accounts and everything, and uh, that became uh, a way to justify the, uh, uh, you know, that we could become a, a viable city. And uh, it, it was touch and go. You know, Christian and Wallace were doing the, the work on that, um, but we would supply them the data, and the, uh, um, I could just remember you know, doing almost every month, I would have to put together, sometimes less, a list of all the commercial. They were more interested in the commercial development. And I don't know where the slides probably don't exist, but I would, it was before PowerPoint, I would cut out, you know, colors <laughs> for the green commercial and the residential and all of this. And then, and then use an overhead projector to show, you know, show different groups, the chamber, the city of the committee, you know, Christian and Wallace, all these people were interested, and, and also the media, about, um, you know, where we're going to make it, you know, literally where we're going to make, be able to be a viable city. Yeah, everybody kept telling us that there wasn't enough money, we weren't going to be able to do it, we're not going to be able to survive, <clears throat> and every time we wanted to do something, we had to go back to the books and see if we had the money to be able to do it. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, once we incorporated, something that, you know, Joe and I had discussed earlier, but you know the you know the first city council meetings were in that room back there, not the training room, but that uh, room that the, the original training room. Yeah. And then when we uh, incorporated, well, what, actually when we hired Jack Smith, we housed him in the little uh, town hall building. And Jack Smith yeah. was the first city manager. He, Jack Smith yeah. was the first city manager, you know, first employee hired by the city. And uh, that's where he was housed, was, uh, in that little building. And we had to talk like mad with the uh, people to get the use of that building because it wasn't owned by the, the city or anything else. It was, uh, what do they call it's it? The Town Hall Association. Town yeah. Hall Association, yeah. 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 <coughs> so that was our second town, our second city hall, sort of. <laughs> and then, uh, then we ended up uh, buying that building on Corning and finally had you know, a real sort of city hall. Yeah. You know, but that took more than a year. Yeah. yeah more than a year. So. Well, um, I, any I, other thoughts? I mean, you know, both of you live out of town now and back after so many years. I know both of you have been floating in and out of here, but that's quite the different uh, I philosophy. Read, <clears throat> I read a fact about Marietta that for the past several years it has a, a more population than Temecula. Yeah. And I, that just floored me. I think it's yeah. 100 and, almost 114,000. Yeah. That floored me, but you drive through town, you can see, you know, we drive, when I drive through town, it's like, that's new, that's new, that's new. Uh, all of this gross. I mean, it was it, well planned. Uh, the only the only thing that uh, didn't work out was the uh, uh, Golden Triangle. Yeah, <laughs> I've started digging through my stuff, and I'm going to run it down, send it down to Pat, things that I've... What's that? You got city, city and fire department stuff. Yeah. I mean, Do I'm, you still have I'm, a badge that Gary Smith conned for us? 
Yeah, okay. I've got that. I've got one of the I'm small Marietta fire it. badges, fire captain badges that Marv gave me. The yeah, little, the little tiny ones. ones. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, <clears throat> well, whatever you guys find, we will be I, yeah. great to archive it, and we'll it'll be on display. You were so. you were with me, I think, weren't you, on Jack in the Box fire? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you initialed got, it. You I've took got the picture the, of that. Yeah, yeah, I've got no. I've got the big picture. I blew yeah. one up. And then remember, we we're joking with Alex Messis. Says, "Hey, uh, I think we found this big long footprint, like from a clown." <laughs> <laughs> the city hood, uh, yeah, the stuff in the uh, capsule looks pretty good. A good, uh, very a good impressed. representation of what happened at the time. And I, I you know, some of it we can't look at yet. Yeah, but I'm hoping that you know, like lists of the committees are in there. A list of newspaper articles showing, you know, how, um, you know, I don't know, controversial the times were. You yeah. had the Mary had a Mary had a cityhood. Uh, no, the what was that group? Get, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, they analyze. It was Brian Padberg's group, and they mm. analyze everything we did. Yeah. You know, can it be real? You know, can you do this? Can you? And it was called. Oh, what was oh, the name I can't remember what it was, but <clears throat> they were always on. They us. challenged us during that time during well during the the pre-cityhood through uh, the the vote from LAFCO we were constantly challenged which was probably good you know can you really make it can you do this can you do that sometimes I thought maybe they were infiltrated from Temecula <laughs> <laughs> you can bleep that out <laughs> no that's fine because you know the, the you know uh, but it uh yeah, and I cannot remember what that group's name was. I can't either. Maybe we'll find but it in there because we'll we, have to. We had a lot of discussions with them. And, uh, but the, the important thing was all of the, I think, all of the city of the committees. And it was hard to manage and really difficult to put it all together. Each council member had a, a, a group of committees to mm -hmm. work with. And it just took a lot of time. You know, yeah. You got a young family. You've got you know, fire department responsibilities, yep. and now you've got you know building the city up, and it was a tough time. Sharon, Sharon felt I had a girlfriend down here, and in in it's a computer because mm -hmm. I spent so much time on the oh, computer. the old the old ask her about that. I My only regret about the thing was leaving the city council early because I was having so much trouble with people here, yeah, with me on the council and having to work here that it was just. Well, that, that, that whole 92, 93 thing is probably yeah, a, a, it was, a time for a whole other interview with yeah, everybody yeah. that you don't lived through off. those days. And, and many firefighters without controversy. Yeah. 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 And then this guy ups and leaves. Did yeah. you hang well, I, I had to. I, could, I mean, I couldn't live at home anymore. <laughs> I had to live. <laughs> That's how bad it was getting. Well, any final yeah. thoughts, Jerry, about where we're at today and where we were back then? The city's very impressive. Uh, it's done, you know, it looks nice out there. And, uh, you know, it's just... Glad the time capsule worked. Thank you for all your work, you and Annette yeah. and Ashley. Uh, it wouldn't happen without you guys, and you know that. I mean, you were <laughs> yeah. visiting us in Texas. It was a you know, dream. I mean, I, I asked about it, and, and uh, you, I think you and Annette spearheaded and put it together. Yeah. I forgot I'm sure Ashley was right too. there putting it together, too. The yeah. city owes you a lot. The fire department owes you a whole bunch. Yeah. I mean, these people wouldn't be here. And I know that for a fact. Well, you know, in retrospect, looking at what happened, you know, 25 years and what happened in 1993, you know. Yeah. Uh, Chief Ferguson's founder's comments, you know, I've heard him use that term before. And, uh, you know, pretty much uh, respectfully from him that, you know, his way of recognizing that we all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for yeah. the people that did what they did when they did it. And, yeah. and that's, you know. Falls on all it's good to see the fire department going, the police department still going, and the contract negotiations. Yeah, <laughs> you talk about bare bones after the layoffs. I mean, you know, we were it was Joanne and I, yep, and two engine companies, two, uh, yeah, were, two three man engine companies, two, and it was yeah. three, man three two man engine, engine companies, yeah, and a shift open and closing Captain. stations. That was, <laughs> and that was, and then it was unfortunate, but you know. It's, Probably don't want to get in all of that. Well, stuff. no, but the, the good thing, uh, as a side note on that, we put out a lot of fire and we yeah. didn't hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they, you know, putting on the fire chief's hat, it was one of my pretty frightening. Fears. <laughs> you know, you are responsible for all these people. Yeah, it's a frightening You've deal. You've been with, there and you know what it's like. And, and uh, that is a lot of pressure that nobody knows that you have. So that yeah. was that was tough. You know, I mean, it was before two in two out, but we fought a lot of smart fires. Yes. And we, we, you know, we, had, we were using tact. Crazily enough, we were using tactics 
25 years ago that, that they're, they're just now, now, that they're just now talking yeah. about again. Yeah. yeah. About uh, transitional attacks and all that stuff. We were we just did it because it made common sense to a bunch of country boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was, uh, you know, all the way around, but, I, you know, the fire department was a key. Marv made a comment that I'll have, you know, probably close it out. It, and people were talking about, gee, there's, you know, two firemen and a, and a CHP officer on the council now. And Marv said, well, you're lucky I didn't run all three or all five firemen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we probably would have been elected. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we were, you know, We were the police department at the time. Yeah. You want, you got trouble? Why call the sheriff? Call the fire department. Yeah. Well, that's, they show up. That's the uh, tradition <laughs> that even you know Joe Before, passed along. Yeah. We all passed along. Yeah. Maria, the fire department was a full service fire department, yeah. and we would solve your problem. Yo, even yeah. back in the days prior to no law enforcement. Yeah. yeah. And so later on, we just we still the department still does that kind of yeah. work, uh, regardless. Of, yeah, well, Joe, he knew I was you know at the time you know, early on here. I was you know, working still working in the sheriff's department in LA County, and so Joe knew that, and you know, we. We would take care of people. Yeah, <laughs> a few things, a few incidents, but uh, yeah, you you police your community. Yeah, and uh, that so. was the only form of government. The only reason why the city was able to incorporate, even though we hit the skids a couple of years later, mm -hmm. but you know the police department owes its origin to the fact we were already here, yeah. and the fact that uh, uh, people on the city of committee local control was the big deal. Local control had their own fire department, and now their own police department. Where the city, even though a lot of the funds go directly toward police and essential services, um, we're better for it. Yeah, it's a you know, it's a safe city. It has a good reputation, uh, but it grew out of you know, Temecula affected a lot. And I think I've explained that to you that you know the yeah. corporation of Temecula just sucked the, the law enforcement resources of, of Riverside County out. Yeah, we had none here. We were we <clears> were <throat> pretty much without law enforcement and. I related that one time, mm -hmm. you know, I called for, we had a fire with Temecula Hot Springs and there was nothing available. And so that was pretty well sure that we were not going to yeah. have Yeah, and a from the, contract. you know, council, potential council responsibilities as public safety, then mm -hmm. you said, okay, yeah, now we know where this lies. And yeah, well, yeah it's... Well, and, uh, I, I guess we'll have to wrap it up, I think. Yeah, yeah. Any, yeah. any last words for the future generations, 50 years mm -hmm. from now, 25 years from now? Just hope that the community spirit we saw then and we saw it here stays, both with police, I mean police, fire, mm -hmm. you know, the community. You know, it's, it's, it's always been a very special place for that. It just didn't have enough open grassland for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, guys.